Hey everyone, Big Mac here. How's it going? Um, I was just thinking, let's make a top five NES list. So, really quick pan out. Can I zoom out? No, that's as far as I can zoom out. I don't have the hugest NES collection. I've got a modest one. Uh, but in trying to accumulate the top five NES games that I have, trying to com compile a list of those, I realized that basically it fell into three. <laughs> like all my games fell into one of four categories. So, I figured just to be a little fair, I would try and uh, group these things by category. So, obviously we have the Mario category, dun 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 dun, the Mega Man category, dun 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 dun, arcade ports, dun, and everything else. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to systematically start going through this list of, all, of each game that I have, um, which ones I do like, and which ones um, I'm not sure why I have, but I have them. So let's go ahead and just get started on, uh, well, for, for the last pile, I'm actually going to save the, the last two. I'm going to give two nominations for that category since it's such a, you know, varied mixed bag. But let's go ahead and get started with da, 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 arcade ports. So, of course, uh, you know, back in the Atari games, Atari days, the back in the Super Nintendo games, Super Nintendo days, everything was important about, you know, bringing the arcade experience home. So, you know, there were various amounts of success. You know, Street Fighter II was a very example, an example of excellent success. Uh, Pac-Man for the Atari 2600, not so much successful. But on the NES, there were a couple of good titles. Among the ones that I have, eh, I'm still not convinced that this is my favorite one. But let's just go through some of the list of what we got here. Marble Madness. An awesome game, but only for five minutes. Likewise, same with Tetris. I also have a copy of Millipede, which, you know, can fall in the same category, Centipede, Millipede. Um, again, the one that I just never myself got into very much. Okay, Turtles 2, the arcade game. How can this not be my favorite arcade port of game? I don't know, I just didn't, never really felt that connection between the arcade game and you know, the original arcade game and the NES version. I mean, I know that all the elements are still there, it just doesn't feel like the same game to me. Plus, it's still too hard and I can't beat it by myself. Wah. Alright, what do we have? Ooh, uh-oh. What's, what's, what's the deal with this one? Uh-oh. It's a black copy. What does that mean? Why, it's Gauntlet. Again, Gauntlet is one of those games where the arcade, arcade version was awesome. Uh, NES port had its issues. Primarily, um, apparently the password system didn't work, so you had to go through all 100 levels at one time, which I don't think I ever got, got past, like, World 2 or something, like, past level 20 or something. But, you know, just the fact that, you know, there was such a variety of things in this game, uh, you know, it actually was a lot of fun. Donkey Kong as my runner-up. So, anybody who grew up with the original Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., both of these games are on here. How is it only my number two? Well, I don't know. I mean, I've only, you know, I've, I'm, and I've played both of them for as long as I can remember. Obviously, there's Mario again, so maybe this should actually go back in my Mario, uh, <laughs> back in my Mario list of games, but I'm, just, I'm leaving it as the arcade port. I'm leaving it under the arcade port category, since, you know, the game's about Donkey Kong. <gasps> But, you know, and of the, of the amount of time that I've been playing all these uh, particular NES games, or of the arcade ports, there's one that I think I wound up just going back to more over and over again. Of ones that I don't actually own, I would say my favorite was Galaga. Uh, however, of the ones that I actually do have a copy of, Defender. I don't know why, but something about Defender is just so flippin' awesome. You know, you have your, your, your warps, you have to you try and save the people, you know, shoot the aliens. This one's a lot of fun. I really want to play this game right now. You know, looking through this list of the games, I'm like, I want to play this game right now. I really do. So, the winner of the arcade category? Defender.